Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, my distance learning plan for in pre AP intermediate algebra. Uh, first of all, before I say anything, I really hope that everyone is safe, um, that everybody is um, all right in this uncertain and uh, uncertain time. Uh, I want to thank you for your patience as we've been putting all of this together. Myself and the other teachers at Columbia Heights, I feel like we've made a really great plan to make sure that everybody can still get the learning that they need and be successful. Um, but most importantly, I hope that everybody is just making sure that they're safe um, in this difficult time. Sorry, I already said that. Um, so first, uh, the best way to get a hold of me if you have questions, and please let me know if you have questions. A lot of you have already been reaching out to me, which is excellent. The best way to get a hold of me is by email. You can also call me um, at my regular number, which is on the screen right now. Uh, even though it goes to my desk phone, you can see I'm not at school. Um, I will be checking my voicemail at least once a day, but I hope to check it more often than that. Uh, but you can also call and leave a voicemail if you prefer. Um, overall, what our schedule is going to be. Uh, so you know, if you haven't heard already, our first day is going to be on March 30th, and it's going to be a day two. And then March 31st will be a day one. We are going to continue with the day one, day two alternating schedule, as well as school days off following our regular district calendar. So like April, uh, I believe, 9th and 10th, uh, we don't have school uh, based on the district calendar, and we still won't have school. Um, we're going to follow our regular period schedule, but uh, the, the times are different. So uh, we have teachers have office hours from 7.45 to 8.30, and then first block starts at 8.30 and goes till 9.45. Uh, our AVID, our algebra, excuse me, our algebra class is uh, from 10 to 11.15. So we're going to be following that time, and then we'll head off to lunch after that. Um, then also from 2.30 to 3.30 is office hours for teachers again. So fourth block ends at 2.30. Uh, I will always be available in both of those office hour times. Uh, from 2.30 to 3.30, I'm going to be available via this app called Zoom. And from 7.45 to 8.30, uh, I'm going to mostly be available by email or phone. But um, I am going to, by case-by-case -case basis, I'll be available by Zoom as well. But hey, what is Zoom? So Zoom is the main way that we're going to be interacting and connecting with each other. Uh, during our distance learning plan. Uh, a lot of uh, people have been using Zoom for this, that, or another thing. Heard about a yoga class you can take on Zoom. Um, it, uh, it's a nice free app. Information on how to use Zoom is available on your Highlander homepage. So I'm not going to go over how to use Zoom. But in order to get to our Zoom meetings, I will tell you that our links are going to be posted on Moodle. And I am going to send them out via email via the, the first couple days, just so we can kind of get our rhythm together. But the main place I want you to look for our Zoom meetings is on Moodle. Now, when you come to our meetings, I really want people to keep their audio and video muted. It will be automatically muted when you enter my meetings, but um, I would like them to stay that way. Main reason amongst other things is bandwidth. Video streaming costs is very taxing on your local network. And I don't want anybody's uh, network crashing because they're trying to stream too many people's web webcams all at once. My webcam will be always available. Um, I'll always have mine on, but I'm going to ask that students keep their audio and video muted unless otherwise instructed. Um, just to save to save on bandwidth and many other things. Um, next, uh, with this, the email where you got this link, I gave you a document, so we're going to go over that really quickly. I'm going to talk to you about how the Moodle page works now, and then we'll be done. Um, so uh, class will work fairly similar. We'll have a warm-up. Uh, we'll work the warm-up together. I'll answer any questions via Zoom. You're expected to work the warm-up like you normally do. And then I'll send you off to watch a video lesson. Um, that video lesson is just our Cornell notes like we've always done. Um, your expectation is that you're taking notes on your own paper, as well as making notes on things you need further clarification on. I'll answer those questions after everybody is done with the video. Before we finish, before I answer those questions, though, I want to do a quick practice. That's like my quick check to see how well you got, you absorbed the information from the video that I sent you. Um, so we'll watch a video, you'll practice a little bit. And then I will respond to your practice as well as any other questions 
that you have. Next, uh, we'll be applying our stuff, and that's just our regular homework time. At this point, uh, you might not necessarily need to stay on Zoom, um, but you're expected to work on your homework and then turn in your work via a Google form. And I'm going to show you that form in just a moment. Overall, our expectations with this is keeping it real, everybody, like regular Highlanders, and use uh, also our AVID ideas of AEIOU, of ask questions, engage fully, integrate new information, open mind to all viewpoints, and utilize what you have learned. This is going to be a new way of learning, and it's going to take some growing pains. So we'll be I'm going to be aware of that, but we need to open ourselves to this new process because I do think that it can be effective. Make sure you're also monitoring your own devices and monitoring your own space. This is my office and I'm only using this when I'm teaching. Otherwise, I'm never in this room. So I have a very private space for this work. I'm keeping my phone off while I'm doing this stuff. So it's going to be on you to make sure that you're keeping track of that stuff because I'm not going to be there to do it. Um, next with grades. Um, so homework and study guides, those are going to be uh, regular turned in via that Google form, which I mentioned earlier. Mastery quiz, no more mastery quizzes. We're done with mastery quizzes for the year. Hooray! What about old ones? I still want to take old mastery quizzes. Great. They're going to be taken during Zoom. So what will happen is each day during the last 15 minutes, I will show one mastery quiz, just one. When you take that mastery quiz, uh, you'll submit it via Google form, but you're, there's only going to be one available. So it might just be linear inequalities. So make sure you're always ready for your mastery quizzes uh, because we're going to kind of slow down at how quickly you can take them. You can't take whatever you want. Just one will be available each day. If we need additional times, we can set that up during office hours. Um, tests are also going to be on Zoom. So you'll come into your Zoom meeting and I'm gonna send you to a Google form that's gonna take you through your test. You will be able to do work on paper and then turn in that work similar to how you turn in your homework um, to receive partial credit on your uh, test uh, for those questions. Older tests, if you have older tests that you didn't take from during our face-to-face -face times, please reach out to me via email. I'm gonna be setting up times with other algebra teachers to retake those tests. They'll happen during office hours it might not necessarily be with me, it could be with another intermediate algebra teacher. Uh, but please reach out to me if you need those retakes. Finally, we're gonna look at our, Al our Moodle site because that's changed a little bit. I put a link to an online graphing calculator. This is made by TI-83 and it's really great um, to make sure you've got an access to a graphing calculator if you so want one. Right here, this is where our Zoom meetings are located. So you can see me right here. This is my office hours link. So if you wanna come during that 2.30 to 3.30 timeframe for office hours, it's right there. And then our regular class times are gonna be right there. So you just click that link and then you'll get into our Zoom meeting. To turn in homework, you click this form right here. So I'm gonna open this up so you can see how it looks. It's a pretty simple form. All you need to do is put in your name, your, your first and last name, who your teacher is, so you would pick me, Mr. Ronchak, and then what hour it is. I only have one class period, so yeah. Uh, and then what the assignment is. So you can see all the assignments here, as well as their due dates. A couple of these, one of these assignments, I should say, are from before well, we started this distance learning. You can still turn that assignment in. You would just choose this assignment right here. You can choose the due dates. Then you would upload that picture, so you'd add a file, um, you can take a picture with your Chromebook, you can take a picture with your phone, attach the file, and you're all done. And then you would hit submit. I'm not gonna do that because uh, I don't have an assignment to turn in right now. <laughs> um, next, uh, down here, you'll be able to get all the materials that you need for each day. So on that March, March 30th day, a link to the video lesson is gonna be posted right here about graphing inequalities. We're gonna kind of go backwards a little bit since we kind of have this two weeks off to get caught up. Go backwards to get refreshed. This will be where you can find your skill practice to make sure that you understood everything you needed from the video. If you want to take a look at the, the digital notes, they're all located here, as well as the textbook if you need additional resources. And then finally, right here is our recorded Zoom meeting. Something to keep in mind is that whenever you're on Zoom, I'm always going to be recording. I'm going to record all meetings. My class meeting might be here or it could be another teacher's. It's going to kind of bounce around so you can see a lot of different teachers. But uh, keep in mind, whenever you're on Zoom, it is being recorded. Um, 
just so that you are aware. And I, it will also be posted in case you aren't able to make our precise class time for one reason or another. You can get what you might have missed as well. Finally, you can see the assignment that's due each day. And that's it. That's everything for our distance learning plan. Again, I'm really excited about this new way of learning. I'm excited for my cat to pop in and interrupt our classes. Um, but I think it's a way that it will still be able to get the information that we need to be successful. Again, I want to stress again, I really hope that you're uh, being safe and that you're being smart in our uh, difficult time. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you out. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the 30th.